Henry VIII has a well-deserved reputation for executing anyone who got in his way and he didn't stop with his wives. Henry executed people he declared to be heretics, meaning they didn't support his break with the Catholic Church, along with rivals to the throne and his own advisers. In fact, one estimate claims that Henry offed as many as 72,000 people during his 37-year reign. Jane was born sometime around 1505, four years before Henry would become king. The Parkers were wealthy and wanted to marry Jane into the up-and-coming Berlin family as soon as Anne hooked Henry's attention. In 1526, Jane's parents married her to George Berlin, Anne's brother. By 1529, George had been given the title of Viscount Rochford by Henry. Everything seemed perfect, but it seems Jane was never loyal to the Boleyn family. Jane's marriage into the Boleyn family was arranged, and many have speculated that it was not happy. Even though her position as Lady Rochford gave Jane power, she was always a schemer. In 1534, right after Anne Boleyn was crowned queen, Jane schemed with her sister-in-law to banish one of Henry's mistresses from court. When the plot was discovered, Jane was punished for her role by being sent away from court. As soon as Anne Boleyn married Henry VIII, he started having affairs with Queen Anne's maids of honour. Jane Boleyn was in a position to see exactly what was happening, as she was Anne's lady of the bedchamber. But Jane didn't side with the scorned queen, her sister-in-law. Instead, while Anne struggled to hold Henry's interest, Jane publicly promoted Mary Tudor, Henry's daughter with Catherine of Aragon, to be Henry's heir over Elizabeth. Jane Boleyn claimed that Queen Anne was having an incestuous relationship with her brother, Jane's husband, George. The charges against Anne included adultery, incest and conspiracy and it was clear to everyone that Henry was done with his second queen. After he failed to annul the marriage with Anne so he could marry his mistress, Jane Seymour, Henry had his wife thrown in the tower. That's when Jane played her starring role as a witness against her sister-in-law. Henry's advisor, Thomas Cromwell, was charged with convicting Anne and he used Jane as a witness. Jane signed a sworn affidavit that George and Anne were committing incest, knowing that the charges could kill both of them. Thomas Wyatt called Jane a wicked wife accuser of her own husband, even to the seeking of her own blood. And there was blood, a lot of it. George Boleyn was beheaded on Tower Hill on the morning of the 17th of May, 1536. His scaffold speech was primarily concerned with defending his religious beliefs and his passion for reform. He followed the conventions of the day by admitting he was a sinner deserving of death. He begged forgiveness of anyone he may have offended and begged for God's forgiveness. He came close to denying his guilt by declaring, Beware, trust not in the vanity of the word or the flatteries of the court or the favour and treacheries of fortune. He said he would be alive if he had not done so. On May 19th, 1536, Anne Boleyn was executed. Jane's testimony had sent her to the chopping block. As Anne waited for a French swordsman to behead her, she gave one last speech. I take my leave of the world. 
and of you all, and I heartily desire you to pray for me. O Lord, have mercy on me. To God I commend my soul. Anne knelt on the ground with a blindfold over her eyes. In one swing she was beheaded. After playing a central role in the death of her husband and sister-in-law, Jane retired to the countryside. But that wasn't the end of Henry's ill-fated marriages. After Anne's execution, Jane lost her land and titles. But the court was grateful for her help in getting rid of Henry's wife. So Jane was soon given a position with the new queen. In fact, Jane served the next three queens as Lady of the Bedchamber and once again Jane found herself scheming to help Henry get rid of an unwanted wife. When Henry married a German princess, Anne of Cleves, he quickly decided that he wanted a divorce. Jane Boleyn testified that the marriage had never been consummated, an important point included in the divorce proceedings. Once again, Jane had shown how useful she could be, but things were about to go south for Jane very quickly. In 1540, Henry married his fifth wife, the young Catherine Howard. Catherine was also a cousin of Anne Boleyn and should have known better than to cheat on the king. But in 1541, Catherine began an affair with her cousin, Thomas Culpepper. Jane Boleyn was one of Catherine Howard's ladies-in-waiting and she knew of the Queen's affair with Culpepper. In fact, she even helped Catherine arrange meetings with her lover. In November of 1541, the affair became public. Catherine went on trial for treason and Jane was arrested. Jane was thrown into the Tower of London where she was interrogated for months. At first, she denied knowing anything about Queen Catherine's affair, but then a letter emerged written in Catherine's hand that told Thomas to visit her while Jane was on duty, clearly indicating that Jane knew and was helping the young queen cover it up. When Catherine realised that she was in deep trouble, she also tried to throw Jane under the bus, claiming that Jane had encouraged the affair. Even Culpepper blamed Jane for the affair. Jane was not tortured, that we know of, but the psychological pressure caused a nervous breakdown. The psychological torment of the interrogation took its toll on Jane. She suffered from what were called fits of frenzy in the Tower of London. She was declared legally insane. That meant that Jane could not be executed. It was against English law, but Henry, apparently still enraged at the affair, wanted Jane dead. So Henry changed the law. He said that insane people could be legally executed and also that he could have revenge against Jane Bullen. She had been charged with treason against the king and found guilty. She had been publicly declared a bored by the act of a tinder against her and finally she would lose her head. The execution date was set for the 13th of February 1542. Jane had to watch Queen Catherine lose her head as she waited for her own execution. Jane reportedly made a prayer for the king and admitted she had falsely testified against Anne Boleyn and her husband George. She was beheaded with a single blow of the axe. Was Jane Boleyn a meddler who got what she deserved? Or an unfortunate woman pushed around by powerful men? Perhaps the truth is somewhere in between. Jane almost certainly had no choice about her marriage into the Boleyn family and she might have resented her husband and sister-in-law's somewhat greater degree of freedom and closeness. 
Regardless of Jane Boleyn's personality, we can all agree that it was absolutely wrong for Henry to change the law to execute an insane woman. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.